Chevys cost less at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Save on new Silverado 1500, 2500 heavy duty, and 3500 heavy duty trucks. Shop online at jackburford.com. Jack Burford Chevrolet, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel, and this is your Monday afternoon news brief. A vapor emission has been detected at the Bluegrass Army Depot today following a routine inspection. Crews had discovered the leak in one of the storage igloos that contains mustard munitions. The emission was located by the mobile lab during the routine checks that take place on the Army installation, and safety precautions were taken so the gas could not leak. According to officials, this is normal and there's no danger to nearby areas of the depot and Madison County. The identity of the man now in custody as the result of a shooting investigation from Burbank County last night has been released. The shooting reportedly occurred Sunday at the Millersburg Square apartment complex, where investigators believe it began as a domestic dispute between three men and one woman. Dalton Wilson is facing two counts of first-degree assault, and according to authorities, he admitted that he shot the two men. Both men were taken to the hospital after shots were fired and are suffering from non-life-threatening injuries. The search and rescue that started Tuesday morning last week turned to a recovery mission Saturday after crews found the body of Leslie Reynolds in the Red River Gorge. Crews thinks Reynolds may have slipped going down an embankment and hit his head where he had a pre-existing injury from a car crash that probably led to his death. This past weekend, the Estill Action Group had a trial run for their Kentucky State Trail Town certification. The event, called Weekend on the Water, was a culminating event after three years working on the state designation through the tourism office. Jessa Aldridge of the group explains that they will be reviewed and then there will be a certification ceremony. Aldridge says this is important for the community as once they receive the designation, Estill County will get an interstate sign and will also be added to many pamphlets and tourism books to get the word out about the trailheads and sites available throughout the county. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.